Hello again, time for another Here There Be Dragons, and uh, today we're working on a red dragon. Uh, here's another red dragon. Huh, this camera. <laughs> this is uh, Charlemagne and Cleopatra, my uh, two-headed dragon. Oh, we can go Slither up there, We've got Octavia, and then we have Simon and Gloria, two dragons that are going to the care home where I work. And uh, there needs to be a third one of those, a red dragon. So we're going to be getting started on that today. So let's have at it, shall we? Let's just change the camera so you can see the chain man. And now we'll put the mouse over here and then we'll get going here. Okay, so we're going to need a whole pile of quarter inch rings. And that'll get us the back of the dragon. Or the spine. Spine! We start with the spine. <laughs> entertaining, uh, most boring part of chainmail in and of itself is just opening the rings. It's like, okay, I can't join anything together yet. I can't like start creating shape. No, I'm just moving one pile from one place to another, and bending the wire slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. M
They don't have that size in black and green, so you know that kind of sucks. Though to be fair, I did make one dragon, Charlemagne and Cleopatra included, or at least one dragon, uh, where I literally clipped down uh, about a hundred um, uh, quarter inch rings down to 732 inch, just so that I could make a proper black dragon head. Sorry, this camera. Yeah. So uh, this has like uh, 50, 60 somewhat clipped down rings inside of there, probably more. What did I say? I wrote it down somewhere. I think there's 58 rings inside of each dragon head, something like that. 100 was a little bit off there, but it's somewhere up there. Yeah, it's somewhere up there. Now we move on to the quarter inch rings here. And we come at this and that is oh so clear. Then we make a dragon spine as we go along. Then we'll slowly work towards a full dragon. And I'm going to work hold the ring on here so that it stops being so silly. off to the room here for two seconds and take care of that because I meant to do that before I started but I forgot so I'll be back. just because I'm half expecting things to come in that I generally want to keep an eye on. 5% remaining. No! I'll save you! I'll save you! Yay, you're alive! <laughs> 
Oh, goodness, what have we got going on here? Heavens to mercy. Don't mind that crinkling like a kid. <laughs> and a mouse. We're only a digital one. Well, you know, I would love to have a uh, like pet rat. Like, maybe a mouse butter. Yeah, it would be kind of cool uh, in the L5R campaign that I'm playing, Legend of the Five Rings. Um, uh, I play, well, just as a character, magic user in general. But uh, one that has a pet rat now, it's a lucky rat from, uh, you know, the Scorpion Lands, which are known for their lucky rats. So I'm training it to, like, grow it on my shoulder and stuff, which, you know, just walking around town as a whole. It's going to be kind of odd to see this chick with, you know, a rat riding on their shoulder. <laughs> I'm like, ugh. It's awesome. It's like, oh, this is so cool. I tend to have the weird characters, so yeah, that fits. That fits. scratching the scales. I tend to do that a little bit with my uh, songs when I'm wording them. Like, I'll sing it one verse too far because it's like, okay, can I make this song just a little bit longer? Because, you know, there's still thoughts on my mind and stuff, but it's like, he okay, went in on a decent rhyme there, but I still want to keep on singing. So, oftentimes I try. <laughs> I still will just keep on going and keep on going and going and going. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh goodness, get back here, you. Already trying to run off down that lane. Good mess. Getting ahead of me. Dragons, they can be impetuous. How many scales we got here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Beautiful, I did count them properly. Awesome. Always double check. There we go, two more rings, and that'll more or less complete the spine, minus all the, you know, extra rings that we have to add. But at least the scales will be done. Do we want to call the scales the spine? Yeah, I think we'll call the scales the spine. They've got good, strong spines. It's punched holes inside of the scales, so, yeah, it's not butted rings. Stronger, yeah. And then, all right. Give me two quick seconds. There was a notification happening that I just want to whoop. Balance on over and see what that was. I'm having things going on here. Do 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 Nope, 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 I want the rings to go the other way. There we go. Now we can get this through here. We're basically going around the eyelets of uh, all of these side rings here. Essentially what I like to call Persianing the edge of the European foreign one. So uh, yeah, we're going to be running rings all the way along the edge of it there. That's going to be all awesome and stuff. Thank you. 
Click. Click. Click, click, click. There got mode control. Can't remember the rest of the words of that song. Compressor song. Search for compressor. Click, click, click. Compressor with a K. Amazing industrial music. Kind of weird, which kind of makes it amazing. <laughs> like I said, I'm a weird one. Dragon of War. I'm liking Dragon of War. It's a red dragon too. We've had a dragon of fire. So why not a dragon of war and a red? That really works. Green, the color of compassion. Not entirely sure how that one works, but we've got blue as the dragon of speed. But uh, red warmth. That works pretty solid. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to open up more quarter inch rings soon. But the bare minimum for the tail, if nothing else. Do, 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 do. Actually, it is absolutely going to need to open a lot more rings for the tail. The big group that we kind of uh, gathered up at the start there. It's decent. It got me the entire spine and uh, the sides of the belly of the dragon. So far. Still working on one of the sides. Do, 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 do. Just another few rings and we'll be there and then the belly of this dragon. <laughs> Actually, before we get to the belly, we'll be doing... Okay, we'll be doing a little bit of the belly first, kind of the upper chest area. And then we'll be doing the... Uh, what should we call it there? <laughs> um, scales, the uh, shoulders. And yeah, like you can see on uh, Simon here, like the shoulder scales, those side ones right at the front. Yeah, we got those ones on our cute little red dragon here. Who's coming along on nicely? But the thing about these... Where was I going with that? The thing about uh, the shoulder scales is... Something, they go on the shoulders. I completely forgot what I was going to say there, sorry. <laughs> okay, we have a tiny hand, uh, handful of uh, rings left. So... Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, Akul's kind of putting me up to this one here, but uh, I want to talk about the uh, bellies of the dragons a little bit here. So uh, generally speaking, for the past, like, you know, 50, okay, maybe a bit less than that, 40-some-odd dragons, 30, maybe 30, anyways, for the last pile of dragons, I've been doing interwoven 4 and 1 for the belly of the dragon, which has, uh, you know, it works amazing, it looks good, and it uh, gives them a nice flat belly. But there's also the weave uh, dragon back which is more or less identical to uh, interwoven 4 and in 1, except that like the uh, scales are going in a, basically against the grain. Like, I can try and show you the two of them together. I have in previous videos, but yeah, I'll try and show you. Okay, so you can see uh, blue Simon here has... Let me try and show you closer. Try not to knock over my drink. Uh, blue Simon here has interwoven four and one, and uh, green Gloria here has uh, dragon back, and you can see the difference between the two of them. But uh, for the uh, dragon back here, I do like how it makes the dragon belly slightly rounded, but uh, the scales going against the grain of the movement of the dragon, like it would seem to hold the dragon back from, you know, slithering forward. Like, the scales are going their own way. Like, if you look at the snake of the belly, the scales are going backwards. <laughs> so just the look of that, it's... It doesn't sit well with me. So we may be going to... Well, I've uh, asked Gloria here, kind of spiritually, if uh, yeah, she wanted to have her belly scales reversed and the interwoven foreign one, but she was like, no. Nah, that's cool. I'm, uh, I'm going to be like, this compassion is best slow anyway. So we're going to be uh, running with that there. And uh, otherwise, uh, this uh, little fella here is going to be interwoven for in one, which will, like I said, uh, unless I get a specific bridge or a dragon specifically asks me for dragon back, I'm thinking that all of them are going to be uh, interwoven for in one. So we'll see what happens with that. But let's get these last two scales in. I think that since I have to reopen a ring that's already on the drag, and I could have just added this right at the very start and then I wouldn't have to reopen rings and stuff. And I've thought about that. But that would be, I want to say, unbelievably complicated. I'd have to figure out the exact, like, rings and stuff that I opened to pull that off. And I really don't want to kind of try and do that because it would mean studying them for, like, an hour maybe. It's just like 20 minutes past the start already that we're only just getting to the point of putting the scales on. So it's really kind of hard to, you know, remember the exact ring positions and everything of the very, very first uh, scales at that point. And this only takes a few seconds, honestly. I may try and memorize it just to kind of slightly make my dragon making more efficient in the future. Don't know if it's worth it. We'll see. I've always done it this way, though. Now go through here and be closed in, cause you're a ring. There we go. Drag, 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 I put that in wrong. <laughs> and it's literally upside down. Shoot. I hate it when that happens. You think you're holding it right when you, uh, you know, put it beside the dragon and open up a ring and everything, but then this happens every so often. Well, I'm quite looking proper. Okay, so. Oh, goodness. Get back here, you. So this ring that, nope, nope, okay, that one's good. This one. This ring that you're still attached to, it needs to be flipped over from this. It may well have been correct on the other ring, like the second ring that it was attached to. But it was absolutely backwards on this one. So we're going to flip you over from this one. 
put your bag on. And now you can put your through this ring. Which may have been correct. Although at that point their scale probably would have sat completely cockeyed, so it probably was just holding it upside down or something right at the get go there. But now we've got both of them in, but they're all loosey goosey like this. And you know, that's just, looks kind of like little mini rings. <laughs> but yeah, need to add an extra ring there to connect those two scales together behind the uh, back scale, behind the first scale. And that's a little bit of tricky business. This is one of the more difficult rings to get into the dragon. The easiest of the difficult rings. I can't remember how many I said there was in the pit. Did I just drop a ring? Nope, there you are. Let's see, what are the difficult rings of a dragon? There's the behind the scale, the chin, uh, the, or the mouth rings or the lip rings where it's biting around the uh, large ring, kind of. I really consider that like one of the quote unquote difficult rings. Or like a set of them. So yeah, chin, back. I think that's really about it. The rest of it is relatively easy. And around the mouth ring, I suppose. But hey! Okay, so we've got uh, two shoulder scales in. Mm. So you can see those are more tightly kind of bunched into their sword like uh, Gloria here. Yeah. So we had, oh, we still have to finish sewing up the dragon's belly here. Dragon belly, dragon belly, you are quarter inch rings. Then of course so is the tail, so we've got to have some rings. Quarter inch rings, oh quarter inch rings, oh you're so fun to sing. Quarter inch rings, oh quarter inch rings, that's a wonderful way to play. <laughs> Open up the papyrus. I might stay silent every now and then for a little bit here. It is a little bit difficult to sing for. Oh goodness, I'm debating whether I want to do this whole dragon just in one straight sitting. That'd be, yeah, about four hours. We'll see how it goes. It'd take me ages to upload that to the internet. I get like literally 0.2 kilobytes per second upload, or megs per second, 0.2 meg per second upload. So uh, last time I uploaded a three and a half hour video, which was uh, finishing everything on the dragon except the back part that we're working on right now. We're sitting at about 40 minutes in, so say four and a half hours. That might take me two days to upload, to be honest, maybe three. Then I have two more dragons to make after this one, goodness. It's almost good that I have some work days coming up. I'll have time to basically just leave the computer on and have it uploading videos all day while I'm at work and all night. It'd be 24 hours or 24-7. Oh goodness to have fast internet here. I'll only be in this town for a few years though at least, so I am planning to move to a city where I'll have uh, better internet. Or failing that if for some bizarre reason like circumstances come up or, you know, I just desire living here uh, in the long run, I'd definitely be moving to a place that has faster internet. And uh, well, not specifically for the faster internet, I honestly would just hope that it had. Honestly, I'd debate whether even stay in this town if I couldn't get fast internet because live streaming is like you know, that important to me, I want to do it that much. But uh, mainly so that I can have a cat. Uh, this place that I'm in now doesn't allow pets, which is unfortunate. And uh, actually, uh, all of the rental places except one uh, don't allow cats, or like pets in general. And it's like, wow, that is cruel. Okay, so like they might not make a mess or bark or whatever. Okay, I can see the barking thing, but you know, if you're in a pet friendly place, that's just part of the neighborhood. Like, when you're living on the street and so forth and the neighbor has a dog, you're going to hear it bark. <laughs> I guess it's peeing on the ground or something that they're worried about. I'm not sure. Scratching the walls? 
Like I was going to say furniture, but that's your furniture, so it's kind of irrelevant. I don't know. Just seems kind of like sad that they don't allow pets in, uh, none of them. Like, really? Well, there's basically nowhere to live in the Poas is, and they're already cutting off, like, you know, people's options that way. So if you have a pet, basically don't come to the paw. <laughs> you will not find a place to live. And that's sad. This place needs, like, a massive, like, 30-story apartment complex that just has hundreds of, you know, living apartments. Oh, and that would help this town out more than almost anything. Because, you know, you can visit and stuff, but to actually live here? Good luck. I got lucky with this place, to be honest. I can still hear uh, music across the street uh, from the bar. Like, you know, just, it sounds like basic techno music. I'm not sure what it actually is. But uh, you can hear that uh, so far more than it's been uh, the past few nights. So I assume that's going to be an every night thing now that they've got their the club portion of their bar up and running again. It was under construction for a little bit. So that's just, again, unfortunate. <laughs> but I'll live with it. And I'm planning to put cardboard uh, cardboard over the bedroom window anyway to block out all light so I won't have like a nice sensory deprivation room type of thing where, you know, one of those things where you can't tell if your eyes are open or closed type of thing. That'll be really, really nice. You get some good meditation in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of upgrades that I plan to make to my apartment at some point. I want to get a uh, prayer shrine or like a prayer corner. Basically a table where I can put all of my spiritual things. And uh, that's where I would uh, pray to my deities. Or uh, otherwise just meditate to myself maybe. And yeah, my spiritual corner. Altar, that's the word that they use. And you know, wherever I've heard this mentioned. A prayer altar or just an altar? Something. Basically a table with stuff. <laughs> Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my Bible would be there and stuff. Almost on the belly of this here dragon. Then we will work on the tail and that will be heaven. <laughs> it will be the elf weave. What's that word I'm looking for? A weave that's really hard. Then we'll have a lot of fun. Because we have this killer Albert. Albert here. Albert is one of my uh, piecemeal dragons. Just kind of like little sample dragon pieces uh, on a key ring. And uh, what that allows me to do is I have a small sample at the back should I ever need to, uh, re you know, just forget how to make it as I can build off of this. Uh, so I have a sample leg here so I know how many segments from the top half of the leg versus the bottom. I have the first half of the tail elf weed so I can build off of that and I've got it kind of ending in black and rings here so I can put the silver rings on the bottom of that and then you know I know where to uh, separate it from the main part. Got a sample of the uh, tip of the tail so that I, you know, know how many uh, of the quarter inch rings I go to, then the 732, then the 316, then the 532 inch rings, and you know, how many of each of those and all that such. Then I have basically a little bent over nail here, which I use for shipping the dragons. So I attach them to a little piece of cardboard, 
And then I hold them onto the cardboard with uh, basically little pieces of wire. I'm using pipe cleaner right now because I have it handy and it's kind of cute. It's a little fuzzy thing to attach them instead of just, you know, the black piece of wire. So I punch through that cardboard with this little nail, like, you know, okay, around your arm over here and around your other arm and around your neck and around your back and around your tail and around the tail, you know, basically keep it from moving around in the mail. So that's what that's for. And a sample head. And uh, this is, uh, oh, Albert, right, yes, Albert has the uh, regular style head. And I guess I can call it regular because my very first dragons were like this, where the, uh, he uh, doesn't have extra teeth on the side. And uh, for example, like, who do we have here that does? Uh, Cleopatra, which does have extra teeth on the side. And that's kind of the newer style. Uh, a little bit more complicated to make, but, uh, you know, looks amazing because you got a toothy dragon and stuff. Okay, so we've got the body here, we've got the dragon caterpillar. And now we need this sample. Speaking of to the elf we. And then we'll go and attach these rings over here, as we please. <laughs> Sometimes I make the elf weave just a little bit of it and then attach it to the dragon. And sometimes I make the entire tail and, uh, you know, build it off of this sample piece and then remove the entire tail from here and attach to the dragon. I might do it with that way just because I kind of prefer that way. It involves less dancing the dragon around a little bit and it just kind of makes it a little bit faster.
Okay, we've got about an inch and a half made now. So we still gotta keep on going here. Like how long is a regular dragon? Don't mind me being quiet. I'm kinda lost in thought a little bit. Ponderings. <laughs> Get to listen to the sound of clicking for a while. Mm -hmm. Love that sound. Once you got tape, there's my kind of litmus point for how long I make the tail. Just because she's one of the originals, so it's like, okay, have all of them based off of a single like, sample piece. And I think we've actually just made this long enough to start the rest of the tail on. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Okay, now. For the tip of the tail. Okay, those are quarter inch, quarter. It's really hard to tell the difference between quarter and 732 inch rings. Let me check one of you, see if it's any easier to spot. It is actually. Okay, so off of the uh, quarter inch center, then we get uh, three, or 732 inch sides. So we'll just grab some of you. Do I have it in my sample? Are you different from you? <laughs> I think you're a quarter. Those are 732 and those are 316. Okay. Okay, yeah, we're cool. A little bit more uh, quarter inch than I was expecting on there. Something to note. Yeah, we only need five of these.
Two more U. And we do one segment of three sixteenths. Then go down to double the rings. Let's just kind of uh, tapers off the tail. So three sixteenths. A handful of these. We're going to need some of these to be pre. There's 732 if we go back there. Okay, we got to see we're all three sixteenths. Some of these need to be pre closed for the middle of the tail section. I want to say four of them, so let's try four. I think I'm going to start making my dragons with the saw cut rings as well. I'm going to try that. Like, I still have all of the uh, machine cut rings, so, you know, I'm just going to keep on using those as I have them. More or less finish them off. I may make, a, or like, my next order is going to have uh, saw cut rings. So I'm probably going to try and make just a dragon out of those and see what I think of it. Oops, why did I close that way? I only need four of you. Okay, open, 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 open. And one of you open. And I think I might need five. One of my dadies is kind of reminding me of something there. The tip of the tail. Tip of the tail, the teeth, the lips, the tip of the tail, the teeth, the lips. I don't know why that. It comes to mind any time I say tip of the tail. <laughs> okay, where are we here? Hmm, something seems off. Okay, we have that one. One, two, three, four, five. Huh. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I see what I did there. Huh, I actually did uh, these dragons, uh, or that dragon, slightly differently than the sample. I'm not entirely sure why, honestly. Kind of like uh, this bit, so I honestly think I'm going to change the sample. I need to do that right now, honestly. Because that just tapers it just a little bit better. Divine Feminine's kind of pushing me to do this one. Like right now as opposed to, uh, you know, should I forget it in the future? I like to listen to my deities fairly often. It's like, yeah, I could go with my own uh, kind of choice on that one, but you bring up a good point. You bring up a good point, so let's just kind of run with it a little, okay? Now, thinking would actually work. Okay, so if we connect you two in like so. And we're going to have to adjust to Jill as well. She's the other piece field dragon that's more or less a duplicate of Albert here, minus the head. And of course, Albert and Jill still uh, receive their own adoption papers. They're still dragons. They may only be like sample pieces of dragons that are kind of, you know, disjointed, so to speak. They're still dragons. Steady. There we go.
Okay. There we go. I'm actually liking that better. And honestly, I'm not going to adjust it for these three because I kind of want these three to be identical-ish, but uh, for the purposes of future dragons, I think if I swap this one quarter inch ring for a 732 inch ring, that would actually make it flow just a little bit better. So let's go do that. So thankfully the weave is loose enough that I can just kind of put a second uh, ring inside of it, like double up one of the rings, king mail them. King mail is when you basically double the rings. <laughs> or having a chain mail weave that's kinged, that basically means I double the rings on it. So we're doing that temporarily, but with two slightly different ring sizes. Now we're going to pull out the quarter inch ring. Whoop, because at least not want not. I'm going to go and clip it out to save time. I have done that before in particularly tight situations, but yeah, I like that more. That it definitely flows better. Don't know how well you can see on camera here, but uh, it's a nice triangular. Move it down a little. Nice triangular pro uh, progression there. Whereas you, which has the old style, say, down. Ever so slightly uh, different uh, triangular pro uh, progression. Actually, I guess I can change all of these dragons to have exactly that. Why not? All of you dragons are getting a slight upgrade to the uh, way that I just noticed would make you a slightly better dragon. Okay, you're 732. You're 732. Oh, goodness, get back here. You're three sixteenths. You're the one that must be replaced. Or sorry, not three sixteenths, you're a quarter inch, which is the one I must replace. Okay, I'll be going to do that for this one down here as well. That note that is uh, by default that way. Okay, so you, you're a quarter inch, you go away. Three sixteenths, we only need one of you. There we go, minor upgrade. Yay, dragons get a minor upgrade. At least this set of three. There we go. A little bit of TLC for all three of ya. Didn't take me that long. Not that far out of the way. Yay! And the dragons are all better now. And so is my sample piece. And now I can put this over. Oh wait, I can't put that over here. I have to finish my tail. I have finished my tail here. Oh, isn't that something neat? Okay, so yeah, at this point I want to put on uh, a 3 16 inch ring as opposed to the 732 inch, which I was about to do. Now, two more 3 16 inch rings in the elf lead style. Then we start doing a double chain, or king to chain. <laughs> so I need another few of you. Opened. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, the number of that key just pre-opened. I think another few. Let's see, double, double, yep, we need one more set doubled when it's attached to a single. So we have three three sixteenths doubled, then two three sixteenths singled, and then one five thirty-two inch ring which attaches to the uh, tip of the tail scales. Tip of the tail, the teeth notes. <laughs> Okay, I think I still have a 538 inch ring, or 538, 532 inch ring, which I do, which is wonderful. So we'll connect, well, just this uh, 316 as a whole. Because I need to grab some tail scales now, two red ones. Okay, there's a second red one. I should do a minor inventory and get really, really tiny Ziploc bags so I can kind of separate those. I don't really have a convenient location to put them once they're separated just because I'm kind of more or less out of space. This is weird. I had this in the uh, spare scales to uh, possibly make a tail scale out of. Like half of it is pink and half of it is a red. So I have no clue what's up with that, but a double color scale? Honestly can't see it being that useful, but the daddy's not letting me toss it out, so it's like, yeah, all right, we'll run with that. Might do something cute with it in the future. Now warmth. I want this to have cupped hands because you're cupping someone's hands and warming them up. Pretty sure this is the dragon of war. It's what it's been telling me so far. Okay, so we can separate that off. Bloop! Hey, the sample piece, Albert here, is now separated. And then we can take the tail and we can attach that right onto the dragon here. Okay, so let's smooth out all of the rings so I know what's where. Come on. There we go. Okay, now you have to be slanting upward in that manner. Upward towards me. So downward towards the dragon, which means I hold the tail thusly. Attach these two rings as well, just to fully connect the tail and the body. Oh, there we 
do. No twisting on me. I think that's right. Let's put you on loosely at first here, just to kind of hold you out. Okay, yeah, we're cool. Alright, let's finish tightening. Thank you for tightening this ring up here. Apul, Apul Zane. Oh goodness, now I'm messing up your name. Upum Brain Fart. Upul the Zane, Sugamayaki, Baba Wutti, Sorni, Wada. Ah! I was missing one syllable. <laughs> yeah, that was throwing me off. So, we have a uh, red dragon, a minor dragon snake. There's no uh, head yet. So, that is next on our list. So, you can go slither over here. Go play with your brother and sister. Dragons. And we need a whole big pile of 732 inch rings. As I said before, I want to say 58 of them? 52? 52 sounds more right. I think I remember seeing that written down on paper, that number. Now with these, we actually want uh, half of them open and half of them closed because we're going to be making a European 4-in-1 weave. And that's a good thing. Oh goodness, I haven't even touched my candy or anything yet. And also I'm just going to pop open another tab here. Basically just make it so I can physically see things. And several people are sharing an image of mine online. Ooh, I'm famous. <laughs> uh, hey, maybe it'll spread. It's always the hope, right? You put an image online or like a meme or something like that or a challenge, and you hope it goes viral, you hope it spreads. I want to see a thousand people do this challenge and stuff like that. That's why I love the internet. Like, just out of the blue, something will catch on and you'll be like, oh, well, now everyone's seen that. <laughs> Yeah.
Okay, we've got a fair amount of pre-closed rings, which make up the sides of the European 4-in-1 weave. So now let's open a whole pile of them. Let's see, technically we will need 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 1, 22, 45, 26, 7, 28. I think 30 open rings total. I think, I think. And then in the long run, two of these end up being swapped out for quarter inch rings too, to add the mouth ring in. Of which I will need enameled wire 12 gauge, which used to be laying around here somewhere and has since vanished. I may end up breaking down another hanger just to, you know, not have me run off searching for it for like an hour. They're still kind of only partially moved in right now. Uh, like, you don't see it so much on camera. It's looking relatively clean, the floor there, except, you know, you've got my dad kind of stuffy over there. It's a Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, but behind the camera is pure chaos. I don't really know where I'm putting my furniture just yet. Uh, things are kind of halfway laid out right now. Like, Okay, I kind of think I want the bookshelf over in that corner. And then, you know, I'm going to be putting stuff around the bookshelf. And I need to pick up some, those, like, little plastic hook things that have, like, a sticky thing on the back of it to attach it to a wall, because I don't want to make holes in the wall if I can avoid it. So I need to get some of those so I can actually hang up pictures and stuff. Uh, a lot of things that would normally be on the wall, odds are it's just going to be sitting on the ground, because... I don't want to put like mounting brackets and stuff in the walls. Like I could plaster over it and everything when I leave, but you know, I know that I'm not going to be staying at this place uh, for a long, long time, just a few years. Which to be fair, given the past few years of my life, this is going to be the longest one that I've stayed at for like one, two, three, four, like five addresses now. Tells you my life has been some kind of chaos. Won't get into it right now. It's kind of a sad tale. You know, my sob story. And I really don't feel like getting into that right now. You know, odds are I'm going to be posting something online at some point or another of just, here's my tale. And it'll be just a, uh, goodness, I'll probably be like chattering on for like a solid half an hour of just, then this shit happened, then these horrors happened, then my life just turned awful at this time. I was... I won't get into it. <laughs> I'd have to start going into details and stuff. Sorry about that. Minor uh, sad pointing and otherwise uh, happy chain wheeling. My apologies. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's get a nice uh, bouncy tune uh, going on here. The pickup train. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
stretch of European four and one that is uh, eight long down the center and seven long along the sides and now we have to do it a second time and it's looking like I'm probably gonna need I'm definitely gonna need more pre-closed rings there like I just popped four of them on and it's like all right well I have a very small number of them left sucks <laughs> whole lot of pre-opened ones but uh, generally for any part or any project you're going to need open rings. So having pre-opened rings just kind of put back into the uh, tray is all the good, all the better, all the gooder, all the gooder. <laughs> oh, I should get a work holder on here. Work holder, work holder. You keep the rings in line. Work holder, work holder. Do the do the dee dee do 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 well, I'm really never going to use these other rings for anything else because they're large in aluminum and, you know, generally speaking, weak. <laughs> they ain't stainless steel or titanium. So it's like, I'm not going to use you for literally anything except this. I might come up with some one-up project, but I really do like to use stainless steel. Like, to me, the uh, benefit of getting aluminum rings is the colors. You can get all kinds of, like, bright, vibrant colors. Whereas with stainless steel, you can get silver or black. And black you can only get in certain sizes as well. Oops, those are 316s, so I do not want those. Back you go. Uh -huh. There you go. 732. You used to have black and 732 inch rings, and that was really, really useful. I really stopped carrying them, and it was like, aww. So you work with what you got. Well, that was awful. Okay, there we go. We have a second stretch of European 4 and 1. And now we want to combine that with the first stretch of 4 and 1. 
but make sure they're kind of facing opposite to each other as opposed to, you know, going the same grain. You want them opposite grain. And we'll combine both of the sides a bit. Basically just turn one work holder into two or vice versa. There we go. I can take this one off. Quick. Oop, steady. Steady. There we go. So now we have the two stretches of European four and one just kind of laying against each other there. And then we kind of seam the ends together with more th or 732 inch rings. Okay, so I want the dragon mouth to open that way. So I think I can do it this way. Okay, this is going to be easier if I go from the exact opposite direction, so let's do that. Basically just flip the piece over and go from this side down. Because now I have to, or before I would have had to go underneath a ring on top of like going through these other ones. And now I can go on top of the ring instead, or on top of the ring instead of under, as well as through the other ones. So it just makes it a lot easier to do this stretch of rings, because this is kind of a tight section. Do, 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 do. Okay, and one more. Let's have a look at my uh, kind of tabs and see if anything popped up a specific notification. Of which, no, it has not. Okay, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Kind of need to come at this from uh, right to left, which is a little bit backwards for me in this particular weave, in this particular place. <laughs> but that's what I need to do in order to get this to go most efficiently. So. I'll just kind of backwards up my brain a little bit. Come on.
Come on, you. This last one's been a little bit fighty. Okay. Come on now. Come on. Going over there. Grabbing you here. Grabbing you here. There we are. Goodness. Close that. There we go. Let me refresh a tab here quick. Used to say I can't do multiple things at once here, hey? Takes me a quarter second, you hear a slight mouse click sound. That said, a sound like mouse would be kind of cool. Where I know you can feel the click, but it doesn't actually make an audible sound. Don't know how feasible that would be, but it'd be nice. Yeah, that'd be a nice invention. Imagine that's got to exist out there. I'm not going to bother Googling it now. The silent mouse. There we go. Hey, we have a bit of a dragon head. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Bounce over here quick. Okay. So now what we need to do is attach the mouth ring. Okay, all of you 732 inch rings, we're done with you. And now, after all of that pins, oh goodness, now is when I need that uh, coat hanger wire. So I'm going to have a quick skim for two minutes here. Okay, give me two minutes. I'm just going to have a uh, fly off screen here. Oh, with them legs and arms and back and stuff. And see what I can find in my pile of stuff. Do we have a hanger piece here? Or did I go and put that somewhere silly? Oh, here's a small. brain hot plate. Mm, I made it out of beads a while ago. One of my originals. I gave away more or less all of them otherwise. Just kind of, you know, giveaways on Planet Zebra type of stuff. Whew. Okay. Yeah, you can sit there. Let's angle you towards the camera a bit more. There you go. Cool. You can sit right there. Okay, and we have basically a coat hanger minus the top part. Like I cut that off. Because that's what uh, became one of these two dragons as mouth rings. So, we need to, what in the world is this little piece of pipe cleaner for? That was used to close up or seal up something. Here's another little piece of wire. <laughs> I don't even know what I, what I was doing with these little things. Some project that was like on my mind for half a second uh, that apparently never came to fruition. Might not have been possible. So we're going to cut this uh, kind of spirally, twisty part of the coat hanger off. Just because it looks really ugly. Like you can't really uncoil uh, that and turn it into a nice smooth ring. So while I have done that in the past more or less out of desperation than anything else, I don't really do that anymore. And I'll use my linesman's pliers. And I'm going to bend. 
one of these sides into a nice ring shape for the mouth ring. This part usually takes a little bit of trial and error. Okay, that's a little bit big, but that's good because we're going to be foiling just a little bit of this off. Okay, I'll have to kind of uh, bend that up so it can fit inside of this little gap here. There's a few things that I've got to do to touch up my chainmail section. Okay, now let's finish bending you into a nice circle shape. I may lop off that section right there. Because it's kind of a harsh cut there, and I think this is a bit large for a mouth ring. A touch, just a touch. So, what happens if I cut off just a touch from here? There we go. Oh, that fell on the ground. Shoot, that's something that would stay on the table. Oh, there you are. Just like a little two millimeter section of uh, enameled wire. Which, well, it would be caught in the vacuum. <laughs> so, no real severe losses there, but still. Okay, this little section, there we go, I'm going to bend just a little bit more. <laughs> okay, so give me a minute there. That went in flang off, so let's go to obtain our flingens. Oh, I hope I don't have to make another one that landed right inside of all of the cardboard boxes that I have behind that dresser there. Because, you know, I don't have storage space, so where else am I going to put it? Okay, where were we? Come on, come on. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Make it as round as possible. Because, you know, we're just twisting it by hand, so it can only get, you know, so round. I need to find a uh, steel dowel to uh, wind these around to make them truly round. I'm not entirely certain how well that would work. But, okay, so lately, just because I need a place to collect the powder from this, Dragons! Actually, I'm going to redneck this up just a little bit here. I have a candy bag. It has half of a candy in it. It's a marshmallow heart. Marshmallow hearts. Oh, so good. So there's half of one left, which I'll munch on now. It'll give me a bag to kind of file into. If it works, we'll see. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
I really need a way to catch the steel filings when I do that. Like, I don't want to just put them on the table, because then you get the tablecloth all dirty. But I don't want to put them in the chainmail kit because then that gets all dirty. Now there's the box for the scales, which I may do because that's actually cleanable. But I'd have to dump all of the scales out of there. Which I suppose I could do because they're all in bags. So yeah, minor problem solving there. Hmm. Needs a little more filing. Let's get you again. Need a better method. There we go. Just a little bit, just, just a hair more was needed. Okay, are you good to going to line up well? No, no, you're not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come closer. <laughs> this really is near impossible. I need this to stay open so that I can hold this and without Wrecking my nails because I just painted them yesterday for funsies. Is it today or tomorrow? Or yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. I did paint my toenails earlier. That's not going to work well, is it? Not really. I'm wearing a nice pink dress. Okay, is there an easy way that I can squeeze this open so I can pop the file into there? Because that would take a lot of the bite out of this. Whoa. Whoa. Yes! Thank you, Black Nose players. Mental note. We shall be used for that in the future. Whoa. Okay, let's try that. I don't want to foil away much more here because at this point the ring is slowly getting smaller. And that's a bad thing. All the dragon rings should be the same size approximately. You know, it's within a few millimeters. There you go, I think that'll do. Yay! No oh, ring. So, now that we've spent all that time making sure it closes perfectly, let's open it again. And then we take two rings out of the mouth here. How long have we been going for? Now we're 47. We're making decent progress. I'm sure you can hear that. There's uh, the people upstairs kind of clumping about a little bit. And I'm sure they can hear me singing as well, which I'm hoping isn't a problem. 
I may have to do my streams quieter in the future or something like that. I own an apartment where the you know, floors are fairly thin and stuff. Luckily got air gaps on like all sides of me. Like outside wall there, outside wall there, there's a stairwell just behind that wall. And there's a hallway on the, like, through the door into the hall. So it's, and underneath me is the uh, stairwell to just, uh, you know, go outside, like on a lobby way there. And then beside the lobby way, underneath approximately where I am, is, uh, I think that's closer to a set of stairs that goes uh, into the basement. I can't recall if there's an apartment underneath me. For some reason I think not. I'm pretty sure I looked at that. I may double check next time I do laundry. Because the laundry room is off that a ways. There's the one underneath me and across. Okay, mouth ring is semi-installed. Now I need two quarter inch rings. Quarter inch ring, quarter inch ring. Gonna put in this quarter inch ring. Blood nose pliers are not needed quite right now because I've got quarter inch rings. Quarter inch ring, quarter inch ring. I definitely love my quarter inch ring. Quarter inch ring, a oh, quarter inch ring. Oh, I love my quarter inch ring. Because <laughs> who doesn't? Okay, which is the top of the dragon mouth that? So now we go through here. We ignore that, we come through here, through that mouth ring, which really locks it in place, out here. Now, blunt nose again, because you have nice corners to work with on the flares. It's very difficult to grab these two. Like I said at the start of the dragon, these are the two rings that are quite difficult on the mouth, the mouth ring rings. <laughs> there we go, one side done. Now the other side. Okay, come on. Going through these two, three technically, not even technically, just three. <laughs> okay, we're good. skipping that one, coming around here and going through here. I'm going to grab you, squeeze that. Boo, yeah. Okay, so we have the mouth ring successfully installed. And now we need to put a chin on the dragon. Which basically means we need to take one of the rings from the underside of the mouth and uh, gridlock it. That's a uh, weave style. And also this pocket knife here should be attached to Albert. Because that is used to give the dragon its tattoo, its signature. Oh, I've got a tattoo touch-up uh, appointment coming up in May, hopefully. Got an email to my tattoo artist again. She hasn't responded to me since the last one, and it's like, okay, can we confirm 28th? Because, like, you said 27th. That doesn't really work for me. Uh, can we do 28th? And she never got back to me, so... Uh, for things to work out, eh? <laughs> okay, now this is a really tricky part. Because we have to take this ring out, which is really kind of tightly inside here, and flip it upside down, almost even more tightly inside of there. What in heaven's name is happening with this ring beside it? That seems like it's almost too far out. Is the ring in here incorrectly? Let me examine this for a second. Did a 316 slip into here somewhere? There we go. Okay, yeah, something was just slightly off joint. Okay, so now you. Nope. We're going to take you and open this up. Make sure we have the right one. That's the underside, yes. Take you out. I'm going to flip you upside down on this one. 
close you up. And then it's easiest to get you back in on the other side here if we open this one up. And again, trying to do all of this part of it before actually getting to this point would be near impossible. Just because you're working with the mouth ring and everything, you need as much slack as you can for that part. Could theoretically be possible. I always like to throw that disclaimer in. Never say something's impossible because you know someone's going to figure it out. Might even be me. So I would rule, out, rule it out in my mind as impossible if you know it technically could be possible. Just leave that possibility open. And for some reason, I like to vocalize that. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There you are. Oh, let's try not to jab myself with my pliers, which can happen very easily and very quickly. Oh, there we go. Okay, one left. Now we open you up. would be easier with this pair of pliers. I dance between all of my pliers when I'm making a dragon. You know it's a fun project when you need multiple pairs of pliers to do it with. <laughs> Am I going here? Yes. And then through here. That's the difficult part. Okay. Now close it. Close it. Come on. Oh. There we go. Let's just tug this ring out from here ever so slightly. There we go. So now the head has that uh, distinctive bend in it, which is the chin. So now we can attach this to our dragon. Then our dragon gets its eyes. Ooh. And then I speak with my deities and have my own opinion. And we come up with a name for the dragon when we put the eyes in. Like when I was live streaming, anyone that was watching the uh, chat could, you know, suggest names for the dragon. But uh, since live streaming doesn't work from here because, you know, I have an unbelievably slow upload speed and it's not going to get better in this apartment that I'm in. So, you know, blogging it is. In that case, it's uh, since I don't have instant feedback from the internet, uh, my deities get to choose the name. Let's see. I think I was the one that chose Simon. I believe it was God that chose Gloria. Because, you know, the dragon picks its name. When the dragon is getting its eyes in, everyone suggests a name. Then when the dragon's eyes are fully finished, that's when the dragon picks its name from those offered. Okay. Although attaching the head to the body right now has proven just a touch difficult. Come on. There you go. Okay. Okay, that hard part is finished. Now we need to do... Oh, right, here was one of the other uh, somewhat difficult rings, is the neck ring. Which is unfortunately slightly out of joint because of this back scale ring, which happens a lot. Like this is capable of sliding down just due to gravity. Like you know, as you're working with the dragon. And it doesn't allow this neck ring to slide into place unless you pull it upwards. So we just did that. I'd show you, but I'd have to have a head cam on because it's a really, really small detailed work that I'm working with here. I'll get that set up one day. That's something down the road. In the meantime, we now take this ring and open you up, like the uh, bottom of the neck, the throat, and now we attach the throat. Okay, so it needs to go through here. Then we reverse the ring, left it. Pop it through there, and we close it. 
Yay, and the throat is secure. So that's done. Awesome. You are almost a greater dragon snake. I do like to do some things with the uh, edging of the head here. Did I even bother doing that with you too? I don't think so. I may actually stop doing that. Oh, although I did do that with Glory because she's a mildly different dragon. I'm honestly kind of liking you as is right now. Oh, he's saying yeah. Okay, so the eyes. Now we take two black, blackened black. I'm not sure what you'd call it because, you know, the metal itself isn't black, but the, it has gone through a blackening process. So I'd like to call them blackened rings. We open up two 3 16 inch rings. Well, this one's a little bit rubbed off. We'll save that for the body of a dragon because that tends to rub off more. Get a nice fresh ring for the body, or for the eye here. Now we find a place to put the eyes. And generally speaking, it's kind of close to the way that I do the eyes of the other dragons. Sometimes it's a touch different, sometimes not. Let's see, on that dragon I did this through here, and then back through here. Should I have them the exact same eyes? I don't think so. Hmm, it's almost not bad there. Let's close you one and see what you look like. Don't know if that'll give you a sad look. Sad or compassionate? Let's let's try and pop the other one in. Oh, hey, all my deities, start to uh, spit note names. Darren, Joseph, Eric, you already said Gloria, Mulan, all right, and I give Jacob. <laughs> Darren, that's not bad. Mulan, Joseph, wait, I said Joseph. Shoot, I better like start writing these down, I'm sorry. Uh, Mother Earth wasn't really thinking of it, so she just kind of said, do you remember? She doesn't even remember either. <laughs> Joseph, Darren, Emilio? Could be. Sorba, Montenegro, Eliza, Oh, uh, don't really like that eye position there. But the eyes are uneven because of just the way the weave is. Like if I pull these two rings kind of apart from each other, they're just naturally going to kind of slide one under the other because that's how just the weave is, or the tightness of this. So I don't really like that eye position, so we're going to take those out. All right, we can keep on coming up with names and... Let's try and keep a solid thing of them. I should write them down. New access to the keyboard. Oh, goodness. Okay, two seconds. I'm going to get my dragon binder. My dragon binder tends to have all of the dragons that I want to make inside of it. I don't know if I want to put the names inside of there, too. It kind of makes sense. And I could have two dragon binders. These are kind of one-off things, though. Like, the names kind of get tossed over time. So, whoop, let's slither back into my spot. Let's just kind of pick a scrap page that I can tear out of here. A little bit of a sip. I got root beer in here. Oh, I love spiked root beer. Okay, I need a pack. <laughs> two more seconds. Two more. Beer. Oh, goodness, 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 girl. Pen! Found one! Still kind of moving in here, so stuff is still a little bit helter-skelter. But, whoop, there we go. Okay, so we had Jacob, and that was Upul's, uh, 
Let me see you. <laughs> there we go, we just put a pool's full name in there. The pool Messi Aim Sugamiyaki Vawa Wupti Sawarni Wada. Who suggested Jacob? Mother Earth is, Mother Earth is kind of pondering it. <laughs> Um, and the Divine Feminine is saying Emilio. Uh, God is saying Lucy. And I guess I can put one in here too. Who? Um, uh, Mother Earth is saying Mario, which is pretty good. Darren was a good one back there. Do I want to say Darren? What's wrong with Darren? I don't like Darren. That doesn't scream... It's too young of a name, you know? Is that a name that, for something that would be inside of a, like, retirement home? A care home? Hmm. Like, I'm trying to think of uh, names that would kind of fit the bill there. The pool's kind of pushing me to Darren. David, maybe. There is a David there, though, so I don't know if that'd cause a problem. Fairly certain he's in that wing as well that this dragon is meant for, so we'll pass on that one. Uh, gotta kind of play with a little bit of internal politics with this here. <laughs> Sammy? Hmm, I don't know. July? Rufus! <laughs> hmm. Patrick? Patrick's decent. Okay. Patrick, Mario, Lucy, Emilio, and Jacob. Jacob's decent. I like Jacob. Oh, wait, you're talking from down there now? Okay, Paul's talking from down there now. Check it out. She can move my head. That was a pool shaking my head. <laughs> Babies, they're awesome. Not entirely sure how I unlocked that ability for lack of a better description, but uh, you know, I run with it. I use it to speak with them clearly. We start, well, we can do a whole lot of yes and no things really easy, and otherwise they're capable of moving in my mouth as well, which allows me to kind of enunciate their sentences like for myself so that I can, you know, hear what they're saying or know what they're saying. So that's all kinds of awesome. Okay, that was where we just had them, and that was a little bit loose. So let's take that out. Might end up going in the same place as the other one. But I do want them all different in some manner, if that's possible. The eyes. There's not too crazy many ways you can attach an eye. This is not quite the same as that one. Ooh, 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 that might do. That might do. Kind of a half-asleep look. Kind of the eyes more down. That's not bad. That's a maybe. We actually have all of our names written down. God's changing his vote to Meerkat. Uh, he wants this to be a boy dragon. So he's ditching Lucy. Putting in meerkat, because I can't think of anything else to say. I don't want a boy. All right, all right, that's cool. Oh, no, this needs to go back a touch. Oh, this black ring is kind of rubbed off, too. So we're going to swap out this one to a little dragon. Don't you worry. How's that one? 
That one's pretty solid. The thing about these black and steel rings is they uh, can lose their color, you know, just a little bit of it really easily, and then it stays like a really dark gray. But ideally for the dragons, when I actually initially make them, I want them to be as dark as possible. Like the body will rub off a little bit over time, but... Okay, this kind of woke up the dragon a little bit, putting the second one in. Let's see what we think. Is this too angry looking? A little bit, yeah. Kind of, let me show you here. If you can see his top two eyes there, it's a little bit, a little bit angry. Oh, this part tends to take a few minutes figuring out where the eyes would go best on this dragon. Dragon of Warth, you should have happy looking eyes. Your eyes need to be horizontally across. So we're going to try and go like this and like this. This might be the same as the uh, blue dragon, which might almost be good. Huh. That's, that's honestly not too bad. A little bit loosey-goosey, kind of flying off to the side a bit more. Let's try putting them on and see what she does. See what she looks like. What she's going to do is going to be able to see. I have depth perception. I'm sure she'll love that one. She, he. Guess we'll find out in a few seconds. <laughs> we have all the guy names. Oh, pool missing. Okay, those eyes are really far off to the side, and I don't like that. Kind of show you there. Yeah, they're way off to the side. Ooh. Okay, hopefully our last attempt here. Okay, let's do a quick test test. If I go in from here, then under here. Huh. Don't let me go through that. Those eyes are a little bit further down the head. Can I go back one? Okay, I think I found a way to put them more or less straight horizontally across. So we'll try going with that. A little bit of sleep looking. What if I put them up there? A little bit more awake looking. Let's try this tired, asleep looking dragon though. I think that could be endearing for a pool, thanks. Kim? You're talking to me a lot right now. You do in general, but we're taking part in the dragon naming ceremony. Okay, so we go through that and through that. There we go. Come on. Okay, got to tighten you laterally just a bit. Looks a little bit like the dragon is asleep, which could have worked for the dragon of warmth. Doesn't like it though. Keeps on wanting to say she, though. Not sure if this is a female dragon, actually. Again, it hasn't been given its name. 
which is stereotypically male or female. And on the adoption scroll, I, you know, use he and she terminology. Except with, uh, what was their name? Um, Jordan. Jordan was a uh, the dragon of pride who used they pronouns. So all through with the adoption scroll there, I used they to refer to them. That was cool. Heard a notification come in. Was it in one of the apps that I'm specifically keeping an eye on right now? Can probably wait for a few. And something kind of in the middle of something. A dragon naming. So what did I do there? Did I go through that? I don't think so. Got to duplicate from one side to the other now. So in through here. Oh, come on. And just out over there. That's it, really? Now you're going through three rings. It is through three rings. Why is it so much looser on this side? Let's try closing you. You look happy right now. It's not bad. And that's a little bit too far down the head. Just off of these two, a little bit loosey goosey. Goodness, we are fighting with these eyes for a while, aren't we? It's been like, what, 10 minutes? Oh, that is really wide eyed. I'm kind of liking that. Could have had tired eyes for warmth, but assuming you're the dragon of warmth, you're red, so oh my goodness, does that like fit? Okay, we'll put you here and you here. And do we have a greater dragon snake? Do we have a nameable dragon? Okay, I think uh, he got his eyes. I'm definitely saying he's a guy. Emilio, Lucy, oh my god, uh, cancel Lucy, I'm sorry god. You, you had Meerkat or something, didn't you? Oh, sorry, God, I didn't change your uh, vote there. I'm going to cross out Lucy, okay? Come on, pick one, okay? Come on. Aw, oh, okay. Darren. Okay, so Darren, Mario, Patrick, and Jacob.
Hat trick. Hmm. He's going with Darren. Good call, God. <laughs> Last minute call out. Hooray! So you are Darren, the Dragon of War. Okay, so we have a greater dragon snake. We are currently sitting at 2 hours 18. So let's get the legs of this dragon made, that being the last step. We need exactly 108 3 16 inch rings. Let's say 732 inch ring. With, let's see, 12, 24, 48 rings of those to be closed and the rest open which would be 50, 60. 60 open rings. Wait, that's not right. 60, 59, 58 open rings. And did I say 48? 48 closed rings and 58 open rings. Let's try doing that. We'll do the 48 first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, what the heck? We're actually uh, making progress again here. We were stuck so long on the eyes there. And the head in general took like what, a solid hour, maybe? Somewhere in there. Okay, there's ten closed rings. Goes kind of fast. 20. I'm just going to keep the piles separate so I know how many sets of 10 I have. Arms are getting tired. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. It's been a long time since I finished a dragon in a single day. In a single sitting, no less. Was the other one a single sitting? Probably. Might have had a break in the middle. I can't recall. In either case, this dragon is being done single sitting. Here we go, 30 closed rings.
Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, you're pretty close already. Nice. Nine. Ten. Ten. Okay, now we need another eight. Then fifty eight open. One, two, nope. What am I doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, five, goodness, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, two, three. You get to hear me count for a while. <laughs> Four. Assuming I want to keep on doing it up loud. Five. Six. Could be well educated dragon. Seven. Bare minimum. It'll leave the count to fifty-eight. <laughs> eight. Let's just put those eight separate now. Now I only need fifty. Five packs to ten. One. Two. Can you have a pack of rings? Guess you can, a bag of them. They're called bags. Pile. Pile of rings. Four. Whoops, looks like you're counting to about ten. <laughs> Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is done a little bit silly here. Okay, change up. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, oh, we're going to need one more for the uh, 19, 20, just doing something here for funsies. This specific ring here is going to be for the class. So anyways, I have a 20, 21, oh goodness, 22, 
30. You're going to be a learned dragon. <laughs> Learn it in the ways of work. 10, 20, 30. Okay, we need some more quarter inch rings or 3 16th inch rings. Whew. Okay, 31. Yeah, let's just kind of pile that down there. Thirty one, Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Eight more, holy goodness. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, and 58. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh goodness. This girl's getting sore. Yeah, nice long silk in the tub after this might be nice. Okay, so let us begin the combining process. One, two, three, four goes on one. Oh, come on, you. Then that one is doubled. There we go. And we attach two to this one. Put that there. Oh, I think my cell phone finished charging. Yay! At the start of the uh, stream there, we remembered it was almost dead. And now it is full. Just like the dragon. It was empty and is now almost full. <laughs> so we're making a uh, box chain weave now. Um, three segments long for the top part of the leg, and then another two segments long for the bottom of the foot.
Okay, and now we need an extra two rings here to make a Byzantine connection. Which makes up the elbow. Now we keep on going with the box chain type of system. Okay, and three open rings for the claws. Don't worry, they won't use the claws when they're at work. You can't, you're caring for the elderly. We need love and compassion. A lot of the time speed and efficiency, which is where Simon here comes in handy. Gloria is all about compassion. This one is about warmth, like physical warmth, like wrapping a blanket around you, or what else uh, involves a warmth that, you know, I can, is specific to a care home. Again, I kind of have to massage my specific wording because of that. Where did my other pair of pliers go? Oh, in my hand. Ah. Because you know they don't have a fireplace in the care home, so do I want the uh, adoption scroll to mention adoption papers? Because that doesn't really seem right. So another little minor conundrum there. Oop. These are slightly modified uh, quarter-inch uh, black and steel rings. Unnecessary right at this moment. Okay. Oop. Here we go. Little tiny section of rings. Which will then connect whoop, thusly said thusly to my work holder ring and now we start box chaining is this ring closed right or are you off by like a tenth of a millimeter you're off by like a tenth of a millimeter there you go there you go Oh, looks like the separate piles of rings are more or less going now. <laughs> the open side, uh, they're all kind of still separated, but on the closed side, they all just kind of shuffle together there. Okay, let me go to double this one here. Whoop. Come on. That kind of closes in the side of the box chain. Byzantine, you might be able to get away with single rings every other link there. Personally, I prefer it doubled. It just, you know, looks better in my eyes. And another Dublin. Dublin? I'd love to visit Dublin. That's Ireland, right? That'd be interesting. Although I am planning a uh, vacation to London in the near future, like in September. 
going to spend a week out there taking the sights, the history, uh, all of that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, spend a week in, or, yeah, a week in London. So that's going to be amazing. I'm looking forward to that. Towards the end of September, I'll be vanishing for a, well, a week. So you won't be getting any songs of the day or anything at that time. I may keep on going with the uh, song of the day after the 365-year-long uh, year long thing. So we'll see if I do or not. There's another person, uh, shoot, what was his name? Michael Pop, I think it is, who's doing a thousand days of pop, which is kind of awesome because you're pulling like a full solid thousand hours or thousand uh, songs, a thousand days of music. It's like, ooh, do I want to chase that challenge? That's three years of music. Yeah. I've done almost one year, and it's been fun and everything, and I don't really see any reason to stop whatsoever. Uh, some songs I put up kind of late, because it's like, oh crap, I forgot to record a song today. So, like, I'm laying in bed, and it's like, all right, um, I'm just kind of in my jammies and stuff here, so I'm just going to point the camera at the wall and uh, sing the, like, hey, I'm sorry, this is a song about lateness, I gotta go to sleep right now, uh, we're past my bedtime here, oh, how, oh, how, oh, how, <laughs> you know, something like that. We're almost on the second arm. Okay. And now we need three for the claws. this dragon of warmth. I've got the uh, space heater on behind me just because, you know, I like it warm and stuff, and I'm wearing like a bit of a lighter dress today, so I kind of made the decision of, eh, okay, I'm gonna, you know, throw some extra warmth in here type of thing. And so I did. <laughs> okay. Third leg. Getting closer, getting closer. Exactly half the rings should be used right now, plus six more. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Ring, ring, ring. I expected the phone to ring there. <laughs> getting closer, oh, getting closer. Do, 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 do. Could I make a dragon a day? Well, I think it's possible to. That's kind of a bit of a goal there. That'd be a nice one. To make a one dragon every single day on, like, you know, days that I have available. You know, not running around doing chores or whatever. But where I have approximately four hours to spare. What are we sitting at right now? 240. Okay, so this might take uh, about three hours, which is actually faster than it used to be. So, hey, it looks like I'm speeding up. And then I also have to take a, or make the adoption scroll and take a promo picture of the dragon, which uh, tends to take about an hour, all told, if I, you know, can arrange everything. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. I usually say each dragon uh, costs about five hours. Somewhere in that ballpark. But like, say the two-headed dragons and the funky ones like that, those take a little bit of extra time. Usually about an extra hour, because the head is about that. and Maybe an extra hour and a half, because joining the two heads side by side is really quite difficult. That's actually going to be our next dragon. A uh, friend asked for one of them, and it's like, boy, I, I don't honestly don't like making, like, two-headed dragons all that often, just because it's difficult. <laughs> like... Uh, takes a lot of extra time to get everything symmetrical under there. So you're mucking about with this one tiny section of the dragon for like one solid hour, like, hey, we move this ring slightly over here and this one slightly over here. 
and something like that. Okay, just about done our third leg. And then we should have 12 closed rings and 15 open rings left after this. 16 if you count that one from the clasp up there. The very last ring is a 3 16 inch ring on every dragon. Okay, final leg. Now we put these rings over here. Didn't really count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we got 12 closed ones. That's a good number. Now these are all kind of clumped together, so let's just kind of hope. <laughs> Gotta say, kind of pre-counting out all of the rings beforehand uh, kind of worked pretty good. It's not all just guessing and then you have extra open ones and closed ones. Which again, isn't really all that bad in the long run because, you know, for future projects, you're going to need them open and closed. So it's like when you find one that's pre-open and closed, it's like, awesome! So I may consider doing that in the future anyway. Just, you know, not count purely for the sake of future product uh, or future projects. Oh, this ring was really, really open. Must have twisted that one good. Well, now you're really, really closed. <laughs> now you need a sibling beside you because that one has to be doubled. Okay, all of you closed rings kind of sliver closer. I don't like how you're sitting on the edge of the table like that. Uh, can't wait until I get my live stream running again. Either move into a different place in town here, or otherwise move into a different town, which is the far more likely option to happen first, which is unfortunately in two to three years. Keep on wanting to say two, but let's keep on saying two, shall we? Let's go optimistic. Two years of experience here, then apply to work in a hospice facility in a big busy city that I want to live in. Basically pick a city and start sending applications to the hospice facilities there saying, hey there, I'm Katie Lynn Harder. I have two years of experience working in a personal care home. I greatly desire working in a hospice facility as uh, that is basically what led me on the journey to become a healthcare aide to begin with. Not very professional sounding. It's basically what led me to become a healthcare aide is uh, holding my mom's head as she passed away in hospice. And uh, just throughout our visits, seeing the other healthcare aides and nurses and how they interacted with my mom is really what led me down this path. So there's a few other things that led me down this path, to be honest. Uh, that was just kind of a uh, gripping point for me. And uh, otherwise, it was my uh, deities that uh, pushed for this. Um, uh, God mainly, uh, the Divine Feminine. Yeah, just trying to come up with, uh, like, okay, what vocation could I do that would be best? Did I miscount the rings, or did I make too much of this here? I may have miscounted the rings, not gonna lie. 
108 divided by 4. Yeah, I'm two rings off. Maybe it was 60. Is there 120 rings per uh, foot now? I must have miscounted because I'm fairly certain I counted this out beforehand. So I'm officially two open rings short. Huh. No, I've definitely counted it before. Each dragon leg is definitely a 12 and a 15. So 15, 30, 60, should be 60 open rings. And 12. Okay, I did have two short for the uh, open rings. I'm sorry. That was me miscalculating in my head. There should be uh, 60 open ones. Whoops. Okay, well, we figured that one out. Okay, and the last set of claws. Rower. <laughs> Awesome! Let's attach some dragon legs and make a dragon here. Do 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 it's so dear. Do 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 Okay, we need to go through here and there. Oh, goodness. Player slipped. Do I like this ring being through there like that? Come on, Simon, how do you have yours attached? Just want to double check we were doing it through. Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I thought. pondering right now. My future where to move to thing. What aspect of a city do I want or what do I want a city to have in order for me to want to move to it? That's a ponderance. Like I want to move to a bigger city. That's just kind of a thing that I've been pushing for for a while now. Now, what do I want that city to have, my magical future city? What aspect of you is appealing to me? Like, do you have uh, good bars? Yeah, I don't really go to clubs or anything all that often. Might more in the future, in all honesty. So that's a distinct possibility. I can see that being a significant part of just, you know, entertainment. Not the drinking aspect so much, but the social aspect. So that's possible. Libraries? I don't really go to libraries. If I want to look stuff up, I look it up online. Like, you can borrow DVDs and stuff from there, but it's pretty unbelievably rare that I actually watch a movie nowadays. I'd love to watch the uh, latest My Little Pony movie from, like, last year, but still hasn't happened yet. My life, I tells ya. Getting back up. Come on, arm. 
Nice strong arms on my dragon here. Okay, you go through here. Then you go to click. Yay! Two dragon arms! You can start crawling around! No more need to slather. Okay. Last two legs, and then the class. Oh, and the signature. Every dragon needs a signature. The very last thing a dragon receives is a tattoo. <laughs> I love tattoos. I have six of them on me right now. Plans for many, many, many more in the future. Uh, we'll see what the future give, gives me. There we go. Leg three. And leg four. Oh my goodness, we are finishing a dragon in a single sitting. Now I'm going to turn it off to make the adoption scroll because that's just, uh, it just takes too long, honestly. Like for me pondering the wording and stuff, you basically just be see, uh, see me sitting here just, can you the camera for a second, just sitting here like, Hmm. Hmm. Let me open up thesaurus.com and look. <laughs> like it's uh, the scroll is uh, a bit more of a boring section, so to speak. Oh goodness, I am hunching. Yeah, I think one dragon, like in a sitting, is quite a lengthy ordeal. Oh, you got to give props to tattoo artists when you think about it. They're sitting there in full concentration mode for you know, a solid four hours or something like that. Just, oh goodness, like mad props. More or less doing what I'm doing. Doing my thing. There we go. Yay! We have dragon legs. We have dragon... Oh, you are not wasting your time. Digging around for a class. I'm kind of helping. She's looking. Or he's looking. One of the one in the middle. Is it that one or that one? This one. Okay. He's picked out his class. Goodness gracious, Darren. And you have your class. Okay, now let's get you your signature, the final part of a dragon. Ooh, take a look at Darren, the Dragon of Warmth. Ooh, he is looking good. You want the signature more towards the back? Bit of a back scale. One second, this, speaking of scales, the shoulder scale was sitting a bit on. There you go. All right, you want this scale. All right. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness. Okay, no, we're, we're still, still good. good. Oh, a slight nick out of sorry. Virtually invisible.
Yay! You have your signature. You have your signature. Okay. Also, we have a whole big pile of dragons here now. Ah. And uh, that would be the end of our stream for the day. Uh, we pushed it to, oh, goodness, 30 seconds to uh, three hours. So, uh, oh, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you all for being with me here. Koto, like, be with you. And uh, stick around for the next dragon meeting. Later, all. Here.